So yesterday we finally finished exploring Te Aroa National Park in single player, and I'm really happy with what we've been able to get so far for the Trophy Lodge out of that in those couple of videos. But I've been really looking forward to getting out here in multiplayer and just doing an entire video because we had the Sika Deer for multiplayer in one of the videos, but an entire hunt in multiplayer has just a different feel to it. And it's the idea of just you never know what's around the next corner in multiplayer because in single player, once you've kind of seen everything and explored everywhere, Obviously there's respawns and you never know what that's going to bring, but a lot of the animals you see end up being the same, so it's nice to just have like pretty much a fresh map that, again, you just don't know what's out there to just hunt and see what you can find. I'm pretty sure though that we're starting out with a gold feral goat, and we are. 165 dark brown, and I guess there's uh, not a whole lot of point saying it because it's quite obvious, but this particular server is feral goat drink time, so I wanted to get out here and check some of the best spots for them. And I don't really know, after that, not a lot of stuff's drinking, and I haven't had much success hunting this map in the afternoon, but we might try it and just see what we can find. I know turkey should be out, maybe we'll kind of run the river, because red deer feed near it, I'm sure goats do, and I don't know, I'm not sure I've done that very much. But we'll just kind of take the easiest shot there on that guy. Hopefully we're not sending stuff running off, we could have definitely had a better one, but still just a small four. If you want to see where this is, by the way, it's this kind of like farthest north lake in the middle. And there are just a ton of goats here. I've had it every multiplayer server I've gone to on my own map, just somewhere between three and five herds of goats. And they're usually big herds, like you end up seeing 20 or 30 coming up here. So it's a nice spot, especially in multiplayer when you're trying to kind of maximize your time and see as many animals during that drink time as you can. I like to come up here and see what I can find, but not looking like there's a lot of big ones over here. That looks a little better. 183 to 212. So he has a chance. I don't think those are diamond horns, though, so... Probably what we'll do is fast travel back to the lodge here and try to get a shot that way. Because where he is is not the best place, and 360 meters, I've kind of struggled with longer shots lately on them, so rather than just sending a shot and messing that up, we're just going to sneak down here. I know the one we saw was not even close to diamond horns, it wasn't this guy, but he's about the same size. And rather than just go in there and spook them all, we're just going to take him. Ooh. Man, that is, I think, the black-brown fur type and a level 5. But the last thing I want to do is go getting my hopes up because I've been trolled by one of these on the beta and actually several of them in multiplayer since the map came out. Just mostly the the first night so he looks good something I've noticed with some of the diamond goats is it seems like they almost have the ends just they flare up a bit and he kind of has that if you notice his his horns are mostly going out but the very ends they go almost straight up so maybe there's something to that I really like that fur type of all the ones in the game I think it's my favorite other than maybe mixed so we're gonna be careful here but I think at this angle when his head's up, as long as he looks kind of to his left, I think we should be good. That's a weird thing that happens with him that I don't like. Just kind of get that in there now. I think we got it. Kind of freaked me out when his health didn't start dropping immediately, but should be good. So before I forget, here's this guy, which, I mean, he was decent at 173. But we fast traveled basically, I don't know where we were exactly. But from somewhere in that area, we weren't far away from that level 5, and I just couldn't see him. Because he was calm, that's not one that we spooked that came back. I guess he was either behind some brush or something, but his estimate worries me, because that level 4 that was nowhere close had basically the same estimate. And, like I said, the ghost liked the troll, but he looked good. That makes him look even bigger, but we just gotta hope he's gonna have, I think, 208-something as diamond? Hey, 211. That's a big one as well. A max at 50 kg. A lot of the diamonds I've seen are like high 48 or low 49. Weight wise, that's one of the heaviest. Like from everything I've seen posted. And it's actually the first type I wanted. Somebody's closer than I thought. I just heard a gunshot. So before anything weird happens, let's taxonomize that and get out of the kill screen. Actually lost a little bit of his score with that shot, but. That's not really a big deal. So that is going to be something definitely to add to the trophy lodge then. I was worried 
coming into this map that it was going to be light brown mountain goat on Silver Ridge Peaks all over again. But as far as the feral goats go, actually kind of got what we were after. I didn't even know that there could be European rabbits up here. Like, I've never seen any burrows, and we're at the far northwest lake up here, the last place I wanted to check for feral goats. And they're kind of just hopping along. It's not the best place to try to, like, see them all. A tripod here would be pretty good, but I think we killed a diamond in single player yesterday. Were there two there? That's another male, but we'll probably just get a male rather than miss out on all of them. It was unfortunate that he hopped, but kind of got two out of that in the end. And they end up in multiplayer often sticking around a little longer. But I think they all got into their burrows, so... Got a female and a male. Both, uh, below gold, but... Kind of bonus kills. And I think... I saw one goat walk across right here. But that seems to be the only... Heard of them. Somehow the rabbits are back? I don't know why they came back out, but that guy had a chance at gold. And he actually made it as well. Right on 1.9, so... Just kind of take that bonus kill and... Go back to these goats. There are a couple actually down here. And I can't tell... Maybe it's the sun? But that one has like a... Interesting colored head. Like there's a little bit of redness. It's not just the white. I don't know what it is. I also don't know how far it was. But... We made the shot. Actually, he's a pretty big one. I couldn't see any horns. I thought it might have been a female, but that probably worked as well as it could have. I think we got the best one. I think what he is is the blonde fur type, and that's exactly it. So there is like a, a little bit of a darker color on his forehead, and he's 187. He's not bad, but I thought maybe it was some rare fur type I hadn't seen. But as we're kind of wrapping up with the feral goats up here and actually fittingly shooting a blonde, I want to go back to what I had initially planned at the start of the video. So there was the level 5 goat obviously there at that lake, and we got him and he was a diamond, but... Some of you may have caught it in yesterday's video, I said that the only diamonds we didn't yet have off of the new map were Feral Pig and Chamois. Now, I hadn't actually put the Feral Goat in a video yet, but I did actually shoot this level 4, uh, I guess, no surprise, Diamond Feral Goat on the release day. And I've just been looking for a place to fit it into a video, and it was gonna be in today's video anyway, but now just kind of alongside a level 5 diamond goat, which I like both fur types. Blonde is actually pretty high on my list of favorites as well. But today we just one-upped even what we already had, so that worked out really well. But nobody is really along the river, and I think that's where I want to go. Turkey definitely could be something we could find, and I don't know what else might feed near it, but I want to give it a shot. So that is what I expected to see, but what I didn't really expect was a red deer. I know, like, further west I think it is? That was kind of cool, but further west I think they actually spend a lot of time along the river. But I, I haven't seen any, like, down on this part, so that was kind of unexpected. But that turkey didn't hear us. Technically it could be a diamond, and we're at the point from Silver Ridge Peaks that... There's not a lot of space left in the Trophy Lodge for turkeys, but maybe like a rare diamond or something cool like that. And I know I've seen a couple of those posted, so you never know when, if there's a diamond level 2 turkey, even if we're not going to keep it. No point in not going for it. But quite an interesting looking level 6 red deer. Actually shot him in a pretty cool pose as well. But he's got two different antlers that kind of match. I feel like that could be a thing anyway. That one longer brow tine looks a little bit odd. But that was a cool place to uh, take that shot, so we'll at least screenshot it. And our turkey's laying right down here on the crossing, and I, I think, from what I've seen, more turkeys are on this side of the river. So we probably want to stay over here so we can see all the ones on the far side. And like I said, I don't know what else to expect here. Probably feral goats, we might see them feeding. And then fallow deer, possibly. But I don't know, I'm seeing tracks of just about everything. And, of course, I just said that all the turkeys are usually on the other side, and we have two more in another potential diamond level 2 just chilling on the side we just came from, but actually, I guess we got a lung or something and instantly killed him. So maybe a shot at one of these making it. Definitely increasing our odds getting two. That guy is 4.4, so still 0.2 below. And I didn't know that turkeys were resting right now, and I still don't know, by the way, when they drink. That's a 
third one. So if anybody knows the, the turkey drink time, it's probably been posted in Discord. I just haven't seen it because I've been pretty busy with real life hunting, which by the way, rifle season ended yesterday. So finally going to have a little more time and streams are going to come back tomorrow. But yeah, I don't even know when you could hunt turkeys in their drink time on this map. But two of the high estimate level twos and two actually 4.4s. It looks like he's trying to fly, but he was just like fanning out his wings or whatever when he went to rest. Interesting positions that we're getting things in today, but I did just think actually, wait a minute. I think that 9-11 track we had had to be the one we just shot. I'm pretty sure, but I don't think I've shot a melanistic uh, gobbler before, so that could be something to kind of hope for. And apparently somebody shot a fallow deer we'll just go and get. I think it could have made gold. I don't know what it was shot with a 22. All right, interesting. So kind of a slight change of plans. It seemed like somebody else wanted to hunt the river. So I thought we'd come down here to the southeast coast because I figured it actually would make sense to hunt for one of the diamonds that we don't yet have. And since we got so close with the feral pig yesterday, I thought this would be the best thing to go for. So kind of a tough shot to make on a laying down black gold level four, but that guy should make gold. I actually want to see where we hit it though. Just kind of right in the left lung, so that worked pretty good. I wanted to try to heart shot him, but actually it's hard to see. The heart's right there. Pretty much right on, just a little bit lower would have been good. It's almost impressive just how well these pigs can hide in the grass. Because they're like close to 400 pounds. But the grass is just high enough that it can hide them. Like there was a warning call over there, and I think even before that a mating call. And I could not figure out where it was. Now I actually want to see, is this going to be called dark brown or brown hybrid? Brown hybrid, I don't understand why. We shot a ton of these yesterday. They were all called dark brown. I don't know what the difference is. It's such a weird thing. I noticed it on the beta as well and I talked about it. But like why, as far as I can tell, the exact same fur type is labeled differently in different places. I don't have a clue. I didn't even expect there to be feral pigs down here, because we're back at the river, and I kind of didn't know what else to do because I wasn't seen anymore, but super quick, gonna get that guy before he's behind the hill, I just wanted to come up here and see if there was anything and kind of ended up with the same species we're after anyway. But this guy actually had a decent estimate for level 3, 92 scoring still, we're so close, but not bad. We are going to have to go back to the Trophy Lodge, and I don't know if they've fixed it yet to where, like, going into the Trophy Lodge after multiplayer crashes the game, I guess we'll find out, but got a couple of goats to throw in there. It's getting to be this way more and more, but every single diamond or rare we get these days causes a tough decision about, like, what to take down to put the new one in the Trophy Lodge, but I took down a Diamond Bathides for this guy, and I just think the Pharaoh Ghosts are a little bit cooler, and of course they're newer, so that kind of makes sense, but... 209.8 blonde, and you can see, I know I didn't mention it when we got him, but his left horn is like a little bit straighter. It's almost exactly what the black brown diamond that we got today. It's got like that longer straighter horn, then it goes straight up at the end. But that little bit is what got him over that 208 requirement, because it was like two inches longer than his right horn, and that got him up there to diamond. But as much as I like the blonde fur type, and like I said, it's up on my list of favorites, the black brown is my favorite, and it got me taken down a rare that I've had in the lodge for, I don't know how many months now, six, eight months probably. I had a black gold female wild boar here and I thought the black brown feral goat, he might not stay here forever, but I thought he was a good one to put on the full body platform because the fur type's just really neat. It's quite unique across the feral goats, I think. Like not a lot of them have that cool of a fur type to me. And for him to be like 211 score, he's a good bit over diamond, pretty good size. And that fur type, I just thought he deserved to be on a full body platform, like I said, at least for now. And the only pose I could get where he kind of looks out this way was that one, so kind of just going with that. But nice to get a couple more diamonds in the trophy lodge, and I know I kind of accidentally spoiled it yesterday that I maybe had a diamond feral goat, but we got a new one today anyway, and still got two more species on Te Aurua National Park to get like all the diamonds in the game again. But pretty cool to get this guy. I'm really happy with that one. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.